ikut ni. Okay, you start in? Yes, I'm. Um, I'm just. Uh, okay, would you like to do the free flight test for me? All right. Okay. Um, I just, I just adjust a little bit of pedals. Oh, excuse me. Ah, 
No problem. Go, go, go. Somehow I can't push them more forward. No, 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 no. Okay. I can do it now. Good. So. So we do control. Okay. Control. Forward, back, forward. Fully free. Ballast. No, I didn't see the runner move at all. Oh, uh, you don't see? Yeah, I know. Okay. This motor glider, we don't do it. All right. So. Okay. Control, yeah. Yeah. Free movements. Ballast. Um, uh, right, you tell me that you're 220. Yes. Yeah, we did it. I'm happy. Okay. Uh, so it's inst instruments. S. Uh, S. Straps. Straps. They are tight, secure. Oh. Sorry, I don't hear. Yeah, yeah my straps are fine. Okay, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I don't know what you did yet. Yeah, I did. Mm-hmm. I, instruments. Instruments, yeah. yeah. Fla flaps, we got no flaps. Correct. Correct, yeah. T is for? T is for trim, which is somewhere in the middle, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's down by the stick, isn't it? Yeah? It's, yeah. So we check that we can get the trim all the way back, mm -hmm. all the way forward. Mm -hmm. Then we trim for aero tow. Okay. Okay. What's next? Um, it's uh, uh, so we got IFT and I see. Uh, what is the C next? Canopy. Canopy, yeah, canopy. Can it be secure? <laughs> yeah. Are you closed and locked both sides? Yes, it's closed. Canopy in the rear is closed. Yeah. B, B is for. E B uh, B uh, bre brakes brakes yeah all right I'll finish off brakes fully open and in line open open later semi open and in line brakes close and locked eventualities but uh, but if I'm not able by the track I must release slight crosswind from the right so I need to bear in mind we're going to uh, do a weathercock to the right so we might need some left rudder to compensate. Once I'm at 300 feet on the aero tower, I've got enough height to get back to the airfield. Okay. All right, so... Straight ahead. Straight ahead. Can you put me down as paying on the log? No, what? Can you put me down as paying on the log? Yeah, yeah. Uh, did I do the right one? Okay. Right. Hello. So I'm starting with the stick all the way on the back stop, yeah? Yeah. Because at the moment the glider is balanced on the, the main wheel and the nose wheel. And I want to get the glider balanced just on the main wheel as soon as possible. Okay. Yeah? So yeah. we start with the stick all the way back initially. Because it, when, we, when we first yeah. start moving the controls aren't going to be very effective. Yeah? yeah. As, we spit, as we build up speed, you'll see me progressively moving the stick forward until the stick is pretty much in the middle and the glider is balanced on the main wheel. Yeah. And then when we come off the ground, my job is to make sure that the glider doesn't go more than a couple of metres high behind the tug until the tug starts flying. Okay. Yeah, it is okay, yeah, it's still there. Nice. Something squeaking. Oh, is there a mouse in here? Oh, I don't know, maybe. <laughs> I 
I don't think so, but... <laughs> <laughs> what a lovely day! Yeah. Well, hopefully he'll take us to that cloud. <laughs> Upwind. Did you put the first email out last night about I, flying? Um, the first one was someone who wrote that uh, it's gonna be nice weather and I was the second one asking if I could fly. Yeah, that's a good plan. Yeah. So we're flying, this is good. And I'm happy because there will be also nice video. I like to edit in videos. It's good visibility today, so it should come out well. Oh, I know why it's squeaking. There's no wing tape on the wings. Look at the smoke down here, there's not a lot of wind at all. Yeah, it's steady, it uh, stays on nearly on its place. Um, isn't it inversion? Sorry? Isn't it inversion? No, this is the, no, we're still in unstable air. Mm -hmm. A couple of minutes ago, the uh, the Vario went right up to 10 knots, so we were definitely in lift. We're in lift now. I'm going to go to at least 2,000 feet. Yeah. And then when I hit lift after 2,000 feet, I'll, I'll come off and we'll start thermally, hopefully. Yeah. I think it's still... It's still good air, I think. It's, it hasn't died yet. Mm -hmm. The day hasn't died yet. Yeah. It's still thermic. So I will get some experience from experienced instructor if it's strict. Yeah, well, if I can, if I can, get, us, if I can get a thermaling, mm -hmm. we'll see if you can carry on. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god, yeah. Alright. <laughs> I didn't expect it. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, no, it's um, when you hit lift you've got to take it. Mm -hmm. So the first thing to note is do we know where the airfield is? Yeah, it's about will you say like 11 o'clock, 12 yeah. o'clock. Yeah, mm -hmm. when you come off aeroto, you can satisfy yourself you know where the airfield is. You don't get lost, I think. The lift is back here a little bit. Start turning now, see what happens. Yeah. There's good lift. That's enough. Four knots. Hey! Here we go. Five. No point in paying for an aero tow to 3000 if it's <laughs> thermally at two. So we got four. So I'll climb us a few hundred feet, Jerry. Mm -hmm. And then we'll see how you get on. Okay then, yeah. Turns on its way back. In terms of this now. Yeah. Beautiful day. Yeah, it is. Where do you live? I live in rugby. Rugby? Yeah. How far is that? Oh, about 15 miles. 15? Yes. Yeah, it takes me 30 miles to get here. I'm actually a member of another club as well, which is Welland Gliding Club, which is near Corby. Yeah. Near Corby? Mm hmm. Welland is only a very small club. Mm hmm. We have about 40 members. We have wooden gliders, not plastic ones. Mm -hmm. So you are kind of vintage? Is it called vintage? Oh, you waving? I wondered who you're waving at then. <laughs> I'm waving on the GoPro camera. <laughs> waving at yourself. Yeah. Somehow. 
That sounds like two drivers coming back to the airfield, talking to each other. Yeah, I saw just about a minute ago there was a... It's all one land. I think I came off to at 2,000 feet. Mm -hmm. So we made about 600 feet there, four knots. This is the first thermaling I've done for six months. Wow. <laughs> it's great. I must remind myself to turn steep. It's there, it's the strongest steep. Are you okay with thermaling? You never get sick? Oh, I don't get sick. I'm okay, really. I'm okay. I'm just a... Uh... Try to watch what are doing. Yeah, we're still on the edge of the thermal, we've got zero reading, but in a minute, there, you feel the thump. I felt the surge then, so I'm, I'm just trying to relocate the circle to where I think the best lift is. Because all the time you're thermaling, you'll be asking yourself, where is the strong lift? Where's the weak lift? Is the whole of the circle in lift? If it isn't, you need to try and move the circle to where the good lift is. See, there's the good lift there. Yeah, so uh, you feel it somehow very strong and very... Uh... Yeah, but you've also got the Vario. Do you know how to turn the electronic Vario on? Oh, there is a, a volume over there. But it must be like on the top yeah, one. Try and flick the switch and see if we can get that working. Okay, just turn the volume down a little bit. There is an aeroplane behind us and below us, which I saw on our last circle. So we just need to make sure as we come around now that we're not conflicting with it. Yeah. Any sign? This time. It's below the horizon, so it's difficult to see. Hey, we've made nearly a thousand feet. Oh, really? And they've got the other the other gliders now ready to fly. It's at the launch point. Mm -hmm. I just didn't. Uh, I just missed the glider, which you said to, it's uh, hard to see. It's uh, below the hori horizon. Yeah. So I don't see that. Uh, I'm not. It wasn't a glider. It was an aeroplane. Uh huh. Yeah. I saw that uh, there is another uh, glider with us in thermal. No. I mean, uh, like. No, he was flying straight. Mm -hmm. Maybe someone would like to go and join with us the thermal. If someone see us uh, circling. Yeah, well, there are not many gliders flying today though. Yeah. You really need to watch on busy days though when there are uh, dozens of gliders in the air. Mm -hmm. Well, I'll tell you what, let's... We're at 3,000 feet now. We've got plenty of height to get back to the airfield. Mm -hmm. The airfield's not too there. Do you want to fly me towards that cloud ahead? Okay. Okay, you have control. I have control. Do you want to put that camera down for a few minutes so whilst you fly? So, what do you mean down? Uh oh, have you got a pocket you can put it into? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I, this is a voice recorder. You mean this one, yeah? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to just... So take me to this cloud ahead and, and see if you can find a lift under it. Okay. Okay, look at your airspeed. We need to be flying more about 50 knots. Oh, more than 50, okay. No, 50, 50 is right. All right. Yeah. You were flying at 42 when I said it. Yeah. So we are at 48, I think. Yeah, 48 is fine. But anyway, below 45 is a bit slow. Mm hmm Okay, 
Okay, start looking out both sides now so when you hit the lift you know that it's clear to turn. Yeah. Okay, start a right turn now. Okay. Nothing? <laughs> yeah, you're in there. Yeah. Oh, it's so, so gently, yeah. Wow. We went over four. But... Sorry, yeah. And when you feel like uh, it's, it's, uh, it's uh, rising up more, there's more yeah, turbo. It's, it's good lift. Yeah, good lift, yeah. I thought Rob and Pete had used all the lift, but they left some for us. <laughs> I like Holy Peter. If he does, yeah. Sorry? I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, an, I'm a tastic, but I said I like Holy, Holy Peter. He lifted us for us. I don't know. Okay. Yeah, good guy. Okay. Anyway, you keep thermally. Strongest lift just there, isn't it? Yeah. It's more than four or four knots. It was about four now. Yep. There's a lot of aeroplanes at Brunting thought. Uh-huh. Seven four sevens and everything. Yeah. They're nice. So we are like Nearly three and a half thousand feet high. Yeah. Well, I'm glad I saw those uh, emails last night. Otherwise, I wouldn't be here now. Oh. I'd be at home. <laughs> I mean, uh, they was like, yeah, we will fly. Someone wrote, if there is enough people, and I, I wrote something, I wish more people is here. Because... I wanted to fly too, I didn't want yeah. to waste week because uh, Alan Fretwell is off for today for motor gliding. And also, honestly, I like uh, these uh, gliders without engine because they are so pure natural. Yeah. I don't get as much fun flying motor gliders. Oh, I must love it, so I love it. Honestly, I, I started to do it because uh, the season was off for gliders yeah, yeah. and I wanted to do something and I have dream I know maybe it's just crazy dream I would like once rent an airplane in Czech Republic and fly it but it needs PPL yeah. and if it's fun if I like it I got money so I can yeah. do I can do it that's it that's all about it's just dream follow it could be any dream like I will climb this mountain Jerry, Jerry, yeah. just one one learning point You've just let the speed build up a little bit over the last couple of minutes. Uh -huh. oh, it's better now, but it was 55, 56 knots when I said it. Okay, so it so, was too fast, yeah? yeah? Too fast, yeah. Okay. 45, 50 is fine. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. I must take care because... Honestly, okay. Because the faster the glider flies, the more quickly it's coming down. Mm -hmm. And the less efficient it will thermal. Does yeah. that make sense? Mm -hmm. And we won't, we won't get as high as possible? Yeah, let's keep going. Let's see if we can get to 4,000. Wow. I'm sure we can. Don't forget, they've got another glider, so we don't have to bring this back yet. Mm -hmm. So we can enjoy a lot. 
Do you want to take a coin? No, you carry on flight. If you're having fun, you carry on. Yeah, I do. Yeah. It's all good experience. <laughs> it is. I mean, uh, I, I do flying uh, Condor flying simulator, but this is somehow much more easier flying this. Now we got yeah, sync. You now. probably get more feedback and visual clues and sensory clues fl flying properly than on a flight sim. Mm -hmm. I'm not convinced that we're in the best of the lift. I think we're on the edge of it. Mm -hmm. Because when we go on more right, it, it sinks. Here is sink already. I mean, it's about so zero. As we come around, look where the cloud is. Look up to your right. Yeah. The cloud Let's is. Let's get under that cloud. Okay. Got. It should straighten maybe a little bit. Yeah. Don't forget to look out to make sure it's clear. Yeah. Before you level the wings. Yeah. Yeah. Look out is so important. I would say come round to the left a little bit now. Okay. Let's get right underneath this big bank of cloud. There we go. Whoa. I love being right. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just experimenting with this glider a little bit, you know, it's crazy. <laughs> I mean, so, the the moral there is, keep thinking, yeah? Yeah. Keep thinking, keep looking. Where's the best sky? Am I in the best lift? If I'm not, where do I need to go to get the best lift? Yeah, so it's mental, mental. It should... Uh... Yeah, it should always be thinking. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh. It's a bit of turbulence here as well. Yeah, well turbulence is good. Turbulence is unstable air. I guess we're going... Yeah, just we watch your airspeed. Air speed a bit more airspeed. Okay, okay, yeah. All right, okay. We don't go less than this. Okay, it's a bit more airspeed. Concert. And we got 4,000 feet. Yeah. Now. Well, Colin said he got to 3,600 earlier. And I, I said, well, we, sh we should get to 4,000 this afternoon then. And we are dead. We are. We, we Sorry. Are, we are. We are here. We are there. We are. We're nearly at cloud base, though. We'll have to stop soon. I'm okay, yeah, I'm, I'm joining fun. It's a kind of turbulence here, or it seems like, or I just do move a little bit of this stick. I'm okay, yeah. I, I hold it very gently. Yeah. I just try to move the stick a little bit more to any side. So it was like a little bit more movement. It's still about two. Not. I wonder if you get to four and a half thousand feet. <laughs> be good. Yeah, it would be good. Yeah. For March. So let's go then. There is a little bit of sink. We are two. There is big clouds. Okay, we'll have control. All right. Yeah. So it's. Uh, I'm just going to see if I can find uh, find the strongest bit. Yeah. And then we'll go that wind after that and have a little play. Yeah. Uh, and I can uh, buy you a beer or share a cost with you if you want. Because I was fly flying as well. It's 
it's up to you. Okay, well, whatever. Yeah. Okay. I probably won't take a beer because I've got a 30 mile drive. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Where are you? I'm looking at that puff straight ahead now. Mm -hmm. That looks more active than the cloud that we're under. Almost at cloud base, aren't we? Yeah. So we, we're not going to make anything by filming there. So let's go up. look at the lake down here. Yeah, it's, it's beautiful. Yeah, it is. We still have a nice 4,000 feet. Yeah. So I'm just going to do one or two steep turns. Uh huh. Should come out well on the camera. Yeah, <laughs> it's a view over there. I never did before any steep turn, so it surprised me. Well, I did tell you I was going to do it. Yeah, I know. Look at the lake down to the left. That's beautiful. Yeah, it is. You know what they call that lake at the gliding club? A st uh, something with gun. Sten gun. Sten gun. The sten gun is an old World War II machine gun. <laughs> it's shaped like a machine gun and the stock end points towards the gliding club. Mm -hmm. And the, uh, the lake in the distance, off to the left, at 11 o'clock, that's Draycott water. Uh -huh. So if you go over Draycott water and keep going, you'll come to Banbury and then Shedington gliding club. That's a nice friendly place to go to. Well, we still have plenty of height, so I'm going to push on underneath this cloud straight ahead and see if we can uh, find some more lift. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's only three o'clock, so we've got plenty of time. Oh, and I still think the best of the lift is under the cloud. You must do a lot of lorry driving around um, Catthorpe down here to the left. Mm -hmm. That's a pain in the arse cat thought I mean, interchange at the moment, isn't it? Um, yeah, a bit, yeah. Uh, but all the road works. I, I don't use it very much at uh, that, uh, that junction because uh, I, I work at Tesco's, for Tesco's Hinkley and usually delivering like oh, okay. Wolverhampton and that side, another yeah. side. But I used to work for Eddie Stobart, which is somewhere, there's a track stop. Uh, a stop Stobart, yeah. yeah. And uh, we used a lot of this junction. Well, and hopefully, we'll hit lift in a minute. So I'm starting to do my lookout both sides. Because if we hit the lift on the side, it's going to tip one wing up. And it uh -huh. could be either wing, so we don't know which, what, which side the lift is going to be. Mm -hmm. In fact, the cloud. It's disappearing. Ah, yeah, it's hit the right wing up. Uh -huh. now, maybe the lift is uh, beginning to die a little. Yeah, maybe not. Yeah, we got about two knots. And I enjoy this power plant down there. And uh, this must be M1. That's the M1, yeah. I use that uh, junction to cross it uh, when I go home to rugby. So, Sten Gun, yeah. Tricot. I used to run there over, I mean, around. It's like, is it? Four kilometers. Where? Uh, Tricot. The, cir the circuit. There is a. You can walk all, all the way around uh, Tricot. Oh, okay. And the circuit is about about four kilometers, I guess. 
because and, and used to cycle or yeah, just jogging jogging yeah because once for any reason I, I wanted to lose weight so I said am I able to uh, to run a marathon I did it once so I need to calculate to measure it and I did two or three cycles of uh, dry coat I did the marathon but it was just when I when I was nearly at finished when I stopped I couldn't start again because <laughs> the muscles were so tired I did a 10 kilometer uh, race a year ago and that was enough for me I did that in 54 and a half minutes and I'm I was 53 then I'm 54 now and I've only just started running again last week and I've not been very well oh Jesus it's hard work oh yeah I was jogging, running, running uh, I was in gym and I lost 40 kilos in nine months. Wow. It was quite a hard job, but now I got it nearly all back again. But that, I was pleased. There were 900 people in the race and I came 400. So that, that 400, I thought I'm 53. That's pretty good. Yeah. I beat my wife. That was the most important thing. Are you married? I'm single. I'm single. I, I had a girlfriend, yes. but I was in such a situation. I used to. I, uh, my dream was to be a musician, but musician, especially in Czech Republic, not very well paid. They're not paid. It's very weak lift, but we're not losing anything. A, we're not losing any height, and B, we're drifting back towards the airfield. So that's a win-win situation. Yeah. It's when you're on weak lift and you're drifting away from the airfield you have to worry. Mm -hmm. Aeroplane, one o'clock low, over Brunting Thorpe. Uh, oh, yeah, I see him. Not one of ours, is it? Yeah. I think it's a Piper or something. Mm -hmm. Do you want to fly it for a few minutes? Okay, for yeah, for a few minutes. Tell, tell me when you're ready. Okay, I put a uh, voice recorder in the pocket slightly. Okay. Yeah. It's okay, no problem. Still can pick up the sound. Oh, this is good. So, I'm ready? Okay, you have control. I have control. Yeah. Yeah. We've been up for 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. So we share the cost, it's okay. So it will, will not be so expensive. Okay, whatever you want to do. Yeah. I, the most important thing for me is I, 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 I want to do the launch and the landing. Yes. Yeah, because I haven't... I, I, I've, um, I only flew for the first time on Sunday. That was my first time in three months. Mm -hmm. What's the best way to ensure that you're you're flying at the right speed, Jerry? Yeah, I do care. Okay. What's, what's the best way? The best way is uh, that I tried to watch the horizon. It's, yeah, it's the attitude and the horizon. That's what I'm looking for. And I also tried to keep the jawstring in the middle. Yeah. So that's oh. I don't see the horizon, that's well, yeah. maybe why I failed a little bit. Okay, I mean, so if you can't see the horizon, I you need to spend a little bit more time mm -hmm. looking at the airspeed indicator. Come on, stop. keep yeah. turning. We're in lift. I just found better lift than I was in. Okay. Oh, we are sinking now. Come on. No. Ah! There it is. <laughs> Instruments. So we are 50, sinking a little bit. Um, Don't forget though, when you're thermaling, Mm -hmm. Most of your attention should be outside the cockpit. Okay. Not in, yeah? Not in, yeah. 
But don't forget, we can be attracting other gliders to our thermal. Mm -hmm. I mean, we definitely wouldn't like to have a crash. No, ideally not. I've been flying 21 years and haven't crashed yet. That's I don't intend to start now. <laughs> That's promising. <laughs> <laughs> The worst thing I've done is land without lowering the main wheel. Ah. I've, done, I've done that twice. I'm just uh, forgot or was not working? Sorry? I just, uh, because of, you forget to... Because I forgot, yes. Oh, okay. Um, but it's okay, if nothing bad happened to... No, it, it, can, it can crack with the, uh, the glass fibre a little bit. But, mm -hmm. um, if you land on grass, it, it won't do too much damage. Oh, I see. If you land on concrete, it will. Uh -huh. I, also, to be happened in flight simulator, because uh, some airplanes they don't have retractable uh, under carriage. Yes. And uh, there is good habit. We don't care now about uh, ge landing gear because it's out here. Yeah? But if I would, if you would, I don't know, if I would start to fly another glider, I would really have to take care. Yeah. Extra care and somehow kick it in my something head. You, some, something you should do before you join the circuit on every flight. Have you been taught the, the pre the pre landing checks? Uh, we didn't do it. We do it with motor glider, but it has also fixed gear. Okay, in gliders, the pre landing checks we do are called U stall. U S T A L. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the first U is undercarriage. Mm -hmm. Is my undercarriage down a lot? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Yeah. The S stands for two things. One is speed. What you do then is you select your landing speed. You don't necessarily put the landing speed on, but you just mentally note what your approach speed is going to be. And the other S is straps and security. You may be flying for three or four hours, Make sure that your straps are nice and tight. Mm. We're not, no, don't do them now. No, I'm just I know. Yeah. For, <laughs> and make sure that any loose items that you have, mats, sandwiches, cameras, are all stowed for landing. I admit it, yeah. Oh, we're still, still in lift, aren't we? Yeah. Still weak. Yeah, there's a bit, it's like, though we are sinking like, like but there's a part parts will lift us. I saw if, if we could a little bit straighten the circle, if we feel uh, like if you feel lift. You know what I mean? Uh, because uh, if we do a circle and we are not uh, centralized. Yeah. Well, well, I have control for a minute. Okay, yeah. I'm just going to, again, I'm looking up, asking myself, where are the clouds? Mm -hmm. We're going down and down in blue. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Is an aircraft down to our right, very low. Yeah, I see him, yeah. Down there. I'm just going to have a look at this cloud here. And I'm going to pray to Holy Peter. To thermal. Sorry? No, I'm just uh, kind of joking. I'm oh, atheistic, but I'm pr I pray to Holy Peter. Oh, to, yes, absolutely. <laughs> to give us thermal. But if not, we have to do it by ourselves, or you can do it just by yourself somehow. I don't pray to Peter, I pray to the devil. Oh! <laughs> yeah, he rules everything. <laughs> Lucifer, help me now. <laughs> yeah. It's all going a bit high. Okay, what I'd like to do is start heading back towards the airfield and make sure that Strength gets a, gets a flight as well. And by the time we land, we'll have been flying 45. 50 minutes, something like that. Mm -hmm. But let's head for the clouds near the gliding club. Yeah. Do you want to take us there? Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. Oh, but I got to control. You have control. I have control. So I do take care. If we are moving to another possible thermal, is it is it good to keep the speed or go a little bit faster? Uh, right. In the, in the crop, in the crop, between thermals, every glider has the best glide speed. In this, maybe 55 knots is fine. Mm -hmm. Unless you fly through a sink, in which case, what do you do? So we would go 55, but it's just if you want, or a little bit over. 
Come round to the left a bit. I want to look at these clouds. Okay. Can we get under these clouds. Yeah. Yeah. If so, if the speed, if you suddenly hit sink and you're flying between thermals, would you increase speed or reduce speed? Reduce speed, I would say. Sorry. Uh, reduce speed. No. no. When you're flying through sink, you need to get through it as quickly as possible. Ah, yeah, through sink. I... So increase speed through sink. I saw yeah. through thermal. Yeah, through sink. Yeah. So let's head for the cloud straight in front of us. Oh, we are seeing here. This yeah. one? Yeah, this one, yeah? Yeah, and oh. as we're on the way, have a good look underneath it to make sure that there are no gliders already in the thermal. Yeah. There are no gliders. Under I'm thinking there must be lift under this somewhere. Well, it's probably coming from the fire that was that's behind us and to the left. I guess it lifts left wing. Okay, so okay. I, I think the strongest lift is going to be under this. This cloud ahead of us looks better. Mm -hmm. What you should be doing now is looking out both sides, yeah. all the way round, to make sure that it's clear both ways, so that if you do hit the lift, you can turn straight away. Yeah. Clear. So we got about 280, 50, uh, 2,850 feet. Yeah, plenty of height. Yeah. We're very close to the airfield. Yeah. There, is, there was yeah. a very slight lift. It was half knot. Not very good, is it? Uh, I don't know. It's, I'm... Oh? You know, flying uh, simulator. I saw that the lift is underneath the cloud, but yeah. some can be... Here it comes, here it comes. Yeah. Did you feel it start to lift us? Yeah, I think the left wing was was lift up. I had the feeling. Okay, I suggest you start turning. Yeah, look, that, that fire is directly upwind. So that's what we're in. We're in the lift off that fire. I'm into the fire, I'm there. The fire straight ahead now, can yeah. you see the smoke? Yeah. That's what's causing this. I know. So what do we do now? Well, have a little explore, see if you can find the, the best of the lift. Mm, okay. It's A14 close in front of us. It's only half a knot, isn't it? Yeah. I have control. Okay. There is something, yeah, a little bit there. Yeah, yeah, it's it's a, about one or two. I mean, it's a little bit of a burble. It's not very yeah. strong. It's getting a bit late in the day. What I'm going to do is head towards our fire mm -hmm. and see if it gets any stronger as we get closer to it. Because mm -hmm. that's a big enough fire to kick off a, a decent thermal, I would have thought. See, it's unstable air, you can feel it, you can pull. Whoa! Yeah. very narrow so you've got to turn steep stay in this one mm -hmm. and it's a very powerful lift 
I mean, good, isn't it? I mean, just question. I mean, to your string was on the left side. It's not important when you're in thermal to keep it in your... Right, in thermals, ideally, the string needs to be in the middle mm -hmm. or slightly pointing outside of the turn. Mm -hmm. Can you see I've got it slightly off to the left now? Yes. That gives me a little bit of extra insurance against spinning if I'm close to stall speed. Mm -hmm. Don't forget, it's an overrunner turn that will result in a spin. I see. So if your turn is underrudded, in other words, if the yaw spring is pointing out of the turn, it gives you that extra insurance. It just makes the glider that little bit more stable. Does that make sense? Yeah, it does make sense, yeah. Oh yeah, it is. So the nose is pointing out of the ring, out of yeah, the circle. Just, just slightly, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, I relax for a while. Sorry? I relax, I relax for a while. I was <laughs> quite concentrated and tight, I didn't move. I move air. Yeah. Okay, how long have we been up? 22. We've been up 45 minutes now, so I'm going to start taking this home, if that's alright. It's alright, absolutely, yeah. <laughs> Did you want to do some more flying? Oh, well, it's okay, I mean, uh, I can I can fly for a while if you want. Okay, well, I'll tell you what, I'll... Uh, I'll do some exercises for myself on the way down. Okay. I'm going to start with. Uh, I don't need okay. to. I don't I'm going to start I... with a gentle stall. Okay. Okay. Have mm -hmm. you? Um, have you done? Do you remember hassle checks? Have uh, you done hassle checks? Hassle checks. We don't. We didn't do it. But okay. I, 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 hassle, I, I, hassle checks you do in any aeroplane before aerobatic manoeuvres. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hassle. First H is height above ground level. Have I got enough height for the manoeuvre? Bearing in mind I may lose a lot of height during the manoeuvre, okay? okay? We're flying, we're at 3,000 feet. Mm -hmm. A, it's for airframe. Remind myself what VNE is. On this glider, it's 108 knots. Uh, S, S is for strap, so you tighten the strap in. Yes, I am, yeah. I am too. It's also security, any loose articles in the cockpit. Mm -hmm. You got no loose oh, articles. I, I don't have any GoPro camera fixed. Okay, that's right. I hope for right. E is for engine, but well, we haven't got an engine, so we don't do that. Mm -hmm. L is for location, mm -hmm. not above built-up areas. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to head out um, towards the golf course. Then look out, look out all the way round. Mm -hmm. And what we do is two turns, one in each direction. It's called the clearing turns, okay? To make sure. So if another glider or an aeroplane sees us turning one way and then the other, they can be pretty sure that we're about to do aerobatic manoeuvres and they'll stay clear. Yeah. But we must make sure that it's clear underneath us while we're doing the clearing turn. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yeah. So I'm going to bring us to the stall nice and gently and just try and keep us mush stalled. The mush stall is when the glider is stalled but the nose doesn't drop. So there, I've got the stick on the back stop, yeah? Yeah. Oh, no. The elevator's quite powerful. It was, it was trying to, the nose is coming up. The idea is to keep it stalled. Oh, you bitch, come on. <laughs> it's, we are about 40 knots now, yeah? yeah you need, you need pay. There's the buffet, can you feel the buffet? The shaking? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel yeah, yeah, that's, that's the pre-stalled buffet. Mm -hmm. There, there's a must stall now. Mm -hmm. Stick on the back stop. Yeah. Look, I can bring the stick all the way to the back stop. It's yeah. not raising the nose. Uh -huh. Yeah, we're stalled. Yeah. Have you done the symptoms of a stall? Oh, we did a little bit, yeah, a little bit. We did. Uh... Okay, well, let's just refresh them, yeah? Mm -hmm. but, uh, what I'll do first is I'll do one more positive stall where the nose goes down, yeah. okay? Okay. So I'll do what, another clearing turn. Making sure that we look underneath us. Right, there's a built up area, we need to move away from that. So, and we need to know where the, the airfield is behind us. So, I'll just get across this road, and then I'll do a more positive stall. Whoa. And the nose goes down by itself. We have to move the stick forward to regain speed yeah. and recover. Okay, so symptoms of a stall. 
okay? Mm -hmm. Let's think them through. The first one, we discussed the buffet, shaking, yeah? yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm going to approach the stall, you tell me when you feel the buffet. Yeah. There? Oh, no, yeah. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Buffet, okay? Mm -hmm. Symptom mm -hmm. number one. Yeah. Symptom number two, this time, watch the airspeed as we approach the stall. Yeah. See it? Mm -hmm. The airspeed is low, isn't it? Mm -hmm. And now we're stalled. No airspeed. Possible symptoms of the stall. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Now I want you to watch the Vario. Okay? Yeah. As we're stalled, just look what the Vario is telling you. Yeah. Look at the rate of sync. Yeah? Mm -hmm. The attitude's about normal, but look at the rate of sync. Yeah. Yeah? High rate of sync is another possible indicator of the stall. Mm -hmm. This time, listen. Listen how quiet it gets before we reach the stall. Mm -hmm. Gone all quiet, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Why has it gone quiet? Shit, look at the ASI. Oh no, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Right, another potential symptom of the stall is obviously attitude. Nose high, yeah? Yeah. So that's a potential symptom of the stall. Uh, are there any more? I'm sorry, I'm just trying to think through. Yeah. Uh, right, there's one more symptom of the stall, which is the most important one, okay? Yeah. Which is follow through on the stick. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Yeah. As we reach the stall, look where the stick is, yeah? In the back, yeah. The stick's too far back. Yeah. So, what you'll find is no stall is the same. All the other symptoms, the low airspeed, the buffet, the high rate of sync, the attitude, all of those may or may not be present. The one guaranteed thing that is common in every stall is the stick position, yeah? Mm -hmm. So if the stick is a long way back and other symptoms of the stall are also present, mm -hmm. you're probably stalled, okay? Yeah. So I can show you a situation in which the nose is high but we're not stalled, okay? Okay. So follow through. I'm going to build up speed. There. Look, nose high, but I've still got elevator effectiveness, yeah? Shall I do that again? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I build up speed. The nose is above the horizon. But the elevator is still effective, so we're not stalled, yeah? Mm -hmm. If the elevator is not effective, and that's the other symptom I should have remembered, if the elevator is not effective, or you're moving the stick back, trying to raise the nose, you're probably stalled, mm -hmm. okay? So we've been through all of the symptoms. There's that fire, look. Yeah. Big, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So we are low like this, yeah. So we're now 1,500 feet. Mm -hmm. Where's the airfield? Motor glider on the nose. Yeah. It's taking off. I'm just going to open the brakes. I've lost traffic, kilo golf x ray, downwind, right hand, the wrong way. So uh, when we joined the circle, would you call it high key? Or? Yeah. High key is upwind and to one side of your landing area. Okay, so we're approaching high key about now. Okay? Okay. So this part of the circuit is called what? The downwind, isn't it? Downwind, like, yeah. yeah, downwind, yeah. So on the downwind, I'm monitoring at all times, height above ground level, uh, distance to the landing area, Put the brakes away now. Yeah. Distance to the landing area looks good. The angle that the vertical and the horizontal distance to the landing area makes. I'm checking that our landing area is clear of traffic. Yeah. Yes. I'm checking that there's no other gliders in circuit or aeroplanes in circuit. Yeah. Opposite circuit, the other side of the airfield. Yeah. Yeah. Or extended base or extended final. 
spiders could be coming in from anywhere if they're coming back from the cross country mm -hmm. and they're low on uh, low on height. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they won't necessarily fly a conventional circuit. Mm -hmm. Do you want to turn the audio vario down? Okay. It's a distraction in the circuit. Okay, so we're past low key now, so we must have our 55 knots approach speed on. Now I'm starting the diagonal leg to keep the airfield in sight. There's not a lot of headwind today, so I'm going to go quite a long way back. If there's a lot of wind up on the airfield, a strong headwind, my base leg will be closer into the airfield than it is today. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Yeah, it just does make sense here. So we can afford to fly quite a wide circuit today. Mm -hmm. Final turn to be completed, no lower than what height? Oh, uh, 400 or 500 feet? 300. 300. Okay, no lower than 300 to mm -hmm. finish your final turn. Yeah, yeah, okay. That's four. No lower. So the, the crosswind is slightly from the right. I'm waiting till I've intersected my half to two thirds air brake. Approach path, which I think is about. Now, maintaining 55 knots. So I'm having to lower the nose slightly to compensate for the extra drag. Speed slightly too high, so bring the stick back a little bit. Enjoyed. It was really strong, really, this time. It was really it was good lift, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> good, good lift. It was 4,000. Four, uh, how did we get to? 4,000 four and a little four bit. 4,2, 4, three, something like something that. Something like that, yeah. Terrific. I enjoyed that as well. Yeah. This was good. Uh, somehow, to be honest, I don't know what to say. Like 10 minutes ago, I start to feel to be a little bit sick. I don't know why. Thermaling, probably. Mm -hmm. I used to find when I was learning. 45 minutes is enough. Yeah, something like that because I, I said uh, I felt a little like stomach sick a little bit. Yeah, if, if that will go. You, you'll get used to that. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's good. Uh, maybe, I don't know if it's even overweight, but maybe, I don't know. But you, it's nice that that's good that you tell me that it does exist something like thermal sick or something like yeah. that. So, anyway, so thermal, uh, some, you'll find some people feel really sick when they're thermaling. When you fly passengers, not many people, but sometimes you, you just, if you're the pilot, you just have to stop because they feel so unwell. Mm -hmm. and, and the worst thing that can happen is, of course, if you get a, a cockpit full of sick. Yeah, <laughs> which, exactly. Which has happened to me twice when I've been flying passengers. Oh my god, yeah. So, uh, so anyway, learning points. Don't forget, attitude is the best way to judge your airspeed. Yeah, I, I, not much of a horizon today, so that wasn't so easy. Uh, this will thermal fine between 45 and 50 knots. If it's, if it's quite rough and turbulent, 50 knots is better than 45 mm -hmm. because it gives you better control authority. Like cut through. But... Yeah. The, the controls will work better at 50 knots than they will at 45. Okay. I, you look out needs to improve slightly or quite a lot. Don't forget, when we're going to turn to the right, look out left first, yeah? Mm -hmm. and then all the way round to the right, that far round above the horizon, below the horizon. Mm -hmm. When you're happy that it's clear, look ahead and start the turn. Mm -hmm. Yeah, So the lookout needs to improve. Um, thermaling, you'll get used to it. You need to thermal more tightly, mm -hmm. steeper turns than you're doing at the moment to make the... You saw how, how tight I was in that last thermal. Yeah. Because it was it was so narrow, you had to... Would you like to fly, sir? Oh, I've got come for. Still can find, it's, still can get a there's a, there's thermal. A, there's a, there's a fire at the top village, which is still kicking off in there. So we might want to fly in. Yeah. So this is your first flight in four months? Too long, yeah. Five months? Yeah, something like that. I'm well, yeah. I'm stretched all these rolls up. So your parachutes are? Yeah. No. Yeah. I just. Tug, tug tells me the tug's not pulling too well.